Hey there folks, Comics Gatekeeper here, and doing the second volume of The Adventures of Super Sons. Hmm. Yeah, it carries on the same story. A uh, story I wasn't overly keen on to begin with. But you know, there's still kid versions of everyone. There's Kid Solomon Grundy. So Rex Luthor, the kid version, is on a prison planet, and... So are the Super Sons, and uh, Jonathan is caught in a, um, a special cell that um, doesn't let solar energy in. So, as you know, Superman and Kryptonians can't have their superpowers without solar energy. Uh, meanwhile, Damien is kicking ass, and uh, he's recruited a trainee child Green Lantern into his cause. And he's uh, trying to find out where Jonathan is so they can get the hell out. I'm going to say it again. This would have been a brilliant two-parter, but they've stretched it out for like 12 issues now, and it's just annoying the piss out of me. He manages to deactivate the um, Jonathan's prison cell just before he, just before the new Injustice kids attack, and Jonathan escapes and starts kicking ass. Yeah, so far so mundane. Uh, you find out Rex has also gone to the planet to use the Apocalypse Hypercube that he's attained to change a bunch of other people who go with him into kid versions of uh, human supervillains. So now there's a, a reverse flash and a black manta and a rainbow kid or something. <laughs> Damn. See, even though I'm not deep into the DC lore to know what the, who the heck that is. And yeah, so far so familiar. Um. Yeah, well, they meet up with the robot version of Jonah Hex is quite interesting. See, the ending is not bad. The ending is not bad at all. Um, they're fighting to save their world and lots of cute things happen, but um, in the end, the hypercube itself turns out to be sentient. The Super Sons get back home after spending weeks and weeks away chasing across the galaxy. And just as they get back... They get woken up by Alfred saying it's the first day of school and they're excited. Now here's the problem I have with that. Isn't anyone going to ask where the fuck they've been for 12 weeks? <laughs> Good morning kids, first day of school. I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? <laughs> yeah, that, that was the stupidest part. Like I said, the, uh, the ending was quite fun. Um, and obviously the heart of the story is the interactions between Jonathan and Damien. But uh, I don't think the good ending is enough to justify uh, all these issues. It it felt random. It felt like nobody had planned this out. It's like, let's go here, let's go there, let's go here, let's go there. And you just wanted everyone to fuck off. So as a huge Super Suns fan, as a huge Super Sons fan, I'd have to um, I'd have to give this an okayish mark. <laughs> Uh, in other news, uh, let's see, um, I have the third omnibus edition of The Boys, and I shall be reviewing that next. Okay, take care folks, later.